GH5 versus the 5D Mark IV Part 2. That's right, this is my second video on this topic, and as you can probably tell, I'm using two cameras. I'm using both ca both cameras to capture, you know, this little intro for you guys. And I'll let you know which one it is because I'm capturing with my GoPro here this whole setup. And uh, and I'll let you know, obviously, I didn't identify the shots where this is the 5D or this is the GH5 or this is the, the GH5 or this is the 5D. I know. Some of you might be able to tell that's part of the fun. So what's going to happen, well, before I tell you what's going to happen, I want to share with you why I decided to do this little part two comparison video. It was pointed out in the comments of the other video, the first video I did, that I um, that I should have focused on exposing correctly and just you know forget about the settings, matching the settings, you know, matching the shutter, the ISO, the aperture, uh, and so on. Uh, forgetting about depth of field, just cap capturing as best as I could uh, where I was and you know just go and just roll with that and that's what I did I went out I shot in the same environment in a little bit in the afternoon and a little bit at night when it got dark you know to perform a little bit of low light tests basically so what you see what you what you'll see is basically that I'll just, you know I'll just throw in like five shots of each camera and I won't identify them and you can you know take guess right down and try to decipher which shot is from which camera and then I'll re-roll that those clips and identify the cameras and see if you got it right and you know and see if your opinions are, are honest. Oh, honest. Of course, your opinions are going to be honest. You know, but not influenced by what you're seeing at first glance. I want you to really try and guess. Obviously, um, there will be differences. I'm sure there will be differences right here. I can't really tell right now. In this instance, I kind of try made an effort to try and match the depth of field and the exposure to kind of keep you guessing which is which, is this the 5D, is it the GH5, and so on, is this the 5D, is this the GH5. Uh, again, I'll let you know at the end of that. Oh, yeah, the intro you saw was actually an, an edit of, of both cameras, so it was footage from one and, and, and the other. So I graded a little bit of both, uh, not too much, I just slightly graded it, you know, just a little bit of contrast here and there, and trying to be, um, you know, bring it a little bit out of the shadows, etc. You know, just a little, you know, tiny adjustments to, the, to each uh, shot. But other than that, it's kind of almost straight out of, the, out of the camera, basically. I'm just gonna roll the clips right now for you guys, first without identification, and then I'll de identify the clips. And so remember to write down and have fun, and uh, yeah, and leave comments below what, which camera you prefer. And in the case of the 5D, try to ignore the fact that it has a horrible codec. codec. Just let's just focus on which camera is delivering uh, the best 4K. Oh, yeah. Uh, FYI, I shot uh, Cinema 4K in the GH5, 24 frames per second, and also obviously in the 5D, 24 frames per second, so it's not 23, um, 98, it's actually 24, true 24 frames in both cameras. I think I got it all covered. Yeah, so I'm just gonna roll that shit, roll the clips so you guys can try and guess which camera it is.
Okay, so there you have it. Those are the clips. So which camera do you think uh, is best? Is it GH5? Is it a 5D? Uh, right now, I want you to guess. Is this a 5D? Is this a GH5? Which one do you think? So let's call this camera A and call that camera B. Okay. Which one do you think is which? And let's give it a second. I'm going to look a little bit, give you a second to decide. And this is a GH5, and that is a 5D Mark IV. Obviously, in this one, as I said before, I tried to match a little bit to try and confuse you people. And, you know, just you know, have fun, basically. And yeah, and this is my GoPro, as I promised. I want to take a little tour with the camera. Okay, let me see if I can, yeah. So you can, there, there's the GH5. I don't know if it's, this is capturing anything, because I'm using the preview. This is a 4. This is a Hero 4. It doesn't have, um, it doesn't have any kind of preview. I have. You have to use my iPhone to get a preview. So this is my setup. This is, you know, uh, what's it called? My Sennheiser. This has been my Saturday. I'm just gonna sit this camera down again. And with that over here, okay. This has been my day. This is, has been my Saturday. This is June 2017, 20, June 25th. Actually, it's already 25th as the time I'm recording this for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little part two comparison of these two cameras. I think they're both fantastic. I absolutely love the 5D Mark IV for still photography, obviously, but I also think it has killer 4K. The rolling shutter is bullshit. It's horrible. But apart from that, it's a really good 4K if we forget about the fucking codec. The GH5 is a beast. It's a fucking beast for the price tag it has. It's, in my opinion, in this price range, the best 4K camera, period. I see people talking about the uh, Sony A6500, A6300, the A9. Well, not the Alpha 9 because the Alpha 9 is really kind of a, not trying to compete with the, you know, the sports photography uh, demographic. But I do think, you know, uh, better than the GH5, maybe the Ursa Mini, I don't know. And I'm not even sure if that's, yeah, it's probably a better option. But even so, I think I'd go with the GH5 because of all the features it has, you know, with the, um, uh, it's still, and we're still waiting on the, on the summer update of 400 megabits. Megabits or megabytes, I don't know. So we still have that to enjoy, but we also amazing slow motion at 1080. So all of that is really making the GH5 for me the best 4K camera in this little price range. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please take a little bit of time. Um, it just really takes a few seconds to like this video or dislike this video, whether whichever you want. Thank you for watching once again and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And yeah, let me know what you want to see again. I'm thinking about doing um, uh, what's in my bag kind of video, showing you all my gear and etc. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. And with that said, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and thank you very much. <laughs> Bye.